Welcome back to another video. Don't forget to subscribe and also turn on the bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload new videos. Fighting has erupted in the outskirts of Goma near the city of Goma. Citizens were seen running away. Some people decided to carry some stuff to help them wherever they are going to be. Some people were seen carrying jerry cans, others were seen carrying pensions, others were seen carrying clothes, saucepans, and so many things. FRDC soldiers, FDRL rebels, and different militias who decided to join forces and fight the M23 have decided to attack citizens in the Kibumba area and citizens who could not handle the indiscipline of the FDRL and also the FRDC soldiers decided to run away and find peace somewhere else. The M23 leader, Major Will Ngoma, on Twitter, he wrote and said that the FRDC soldiers today decided to attack citizens in the Kibumba area in order to be able to capture the area. The, FRD, the M23 rebels have vowed they are not going to give up and they are going to protect the peace. They are going to protect citizens in the Democratic Republic of Congo. As fighting continues between the rebels M M23 and also the FRDC soldiers and different militias who decided to join hands together and fight the M23 has continued. But very many citizens have to continued to run away. So many have been displaced. Very many young children don't know where their parents are. Also, mothers and husbands, they no longer know where, they can no longer have their family together. In the Democratic Republic of Congo, they have over one plus, 140 plus tribes in the Democratic Republic of Congo. They speak different languages. And the more displacement, very many people cannot understand their fellow uh, citizens' languages, something that is giving them very hard time to settle somewhere else. But citizens were seen trying to resist. They were shouting and also crying for help, seeking for help from the M23 rebels. M23 rebels have proved not violent in the Democratic Republic of Congo. However much they have been trying to capture different places in the Democratic Republic of Congo, but they have not uh, been torturing citizens. They have been uh, protecting citizens as their aims. However much they keep on capturing different places in the North Kivu province, they have not attacked any citizen. They were not seen or caught in any violent case. As on the side of the Wazalendo, Wazalendo fighting near the Rwandan border and DRC border, one Rwandan civilian was shot dead, something that created tension between the Rwanda Defense Forces. They were given instructions to be ready to tighten security near the border and also within the country because they don't know whether the Wazalendo group or FDRL rebels are in the country or are still fighting outside the country in the Democratic Republic of Congo. The war in the Democratic Republic of Congo is affecting the neighboring countries, including Uganda, whereby the ADF rebels were found in Uganda, moving freely in Uganda. We've seen a school that was attacked, children were killed, Others were captured and also others were kidnapped. We've also seen the rebels killing tourists. We've seen rebels attacking so many different areas in this country, Uganda. The fighting in the Democratic Republic of Congo has continued to affect the neighbors and also Rwanda is on tension because they think 
anytime they are likely to get attacks from FDRL and other rebels. Rwanda has warned President Felix Shekedi that he should stop supporting the FDRL rebels because those FDRL rebels are the ones who are trying to attack the government on, of Rwanda, uh, destroying the peace they have built for very many years. They have fought to be happy, to be peaceful, but the FDRL in the Democratic Republic of Congo are trying to destroy what they have been building for years. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.